As I look back on my underwater experience, I cannot recall which one of us were the first to suggest that we take our expensive cameras, place them in waterproof bags, and take them underwater. As time went on, we experimented with different methods of shooting underwater. Eventually, we settled on weighted vests and put our cameras into more sophisticated underwater housings. Both model and photographer would let all their air out and sink to the bottom. The session would end when the first person ran out of air and resurfaced. The first of the three pools that we would eventually photograph in was a beautiful indoor pool that was unheated and cold. The second pool that we would shoot in and the pool that we photographed in for the longest period of time was a competition link pool located out on a ranch. This pool was also unheated, so we only worked in it during the hot summer months. The third pool that we photographed in was a sailing pool that was the first one to be heated and could be worked in at any time. There is something so magical when you enter the world that's located beneath the surface of the water. It's a surreal world where colors and sound mute and fabric flows and time takes on a presence of slow motion. Each photo shoot would begin before sunrise with flashlights beginning to set up. And then the arrival of Dennis, bringing in the talent. Some we'd photographed before, some new. Top of the morning. morning. How are you? <laughs> hey, brother. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's Gabe. I'm Mike. Okay, yeah, that's it. You. Hi, you. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. You ready to make some art? Oh, yes. Yeah. One of the most elaborate props that we used at any of our underwater photo shoots was that of constructing an underwater swing that was part of a concept that Cabe had wanted to do during one of our shoots.
this underwater prop would serve to capture the energy and the spirit and the freedom of a young person upon a swing. Props were absolutely essential to our creative process. Props that ranged from a radio flyer wagon to a banquet table, to a simple bird cage, to an inflated balloon that would become a sphere that was held by the sea goddess. A thrift shop dress could transform the model into a fairy tale princess. Perhaps one of the most rewarding photo shoots that I've done was the taking of underwater high school senior portraits of a competition swimmer. This photo shoot would capture that special time that is at the end of youth and the beginning of adulthood. We could never thank the talent enough, for without their creativity, their ability to adapt, and their collaboration, none of the magic would be possible. For the underwater fine art model, their job is both mentally and physically challenging as they endure harsh conditions in and out of the pool. Art is something that is meant to be shared. We are so thankful for the two gallery owners who have always believed in us and given us a forum to share our work with the world. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the wonderful opening nights and artist receptions that you have allowed us. <laughs>